Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to solve this packet tracer activity access control list demonstration. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you like to get any CCNA version 7 online classes or any technical support, you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And also, if you like to get this type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing and don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video okay here back to this activity objectives part one verify local connectivity and the test access control list then in part two remove access control list and repeat test Okay, uh, here just we are going to see this uh, ACL demonstration. We are not going to configure any access control list. Background. In this activity, we will observe how an access control list, that is ACL, can be used to prevent a ping from uh, reaching house on remote networks. After removing the ACL from the configuration, the pings will be successful. Here we can see our addressing table. Coming to the instructions, part 1, verify local connectivity and a test access control list. Step 1, ping devices on the local network to verify connectivity. From the command prompt of PC1, ping PC2. Coming to our topology, here we can see PC1 and PC2, they are in the same subnet. Uh, we will ping from PC1 to PC2. You will get the IP address of PC2. It's here in the addressing table, PC2, I will copy this address. Then coming to PC1, you will go to desktop, command prompt. Okay, I will increase the font size. So here we will give font. We'll go to PC1, command prompt, yeah, now it's visible. Ping to PC2, here is the IP address. And we can see we get the replies. Next, from the command prompt of PC1, ping PC3. That means we are going to ping from PC1 to this PC3. And we can see this PC3 is a node in the same subnet of PC1 but it is connected to R1. So we will ping to this PC3. Here we can see its IP address. I will copy that. Then coming to PC1, we go to command prompt. Ping to PC3. And we are waiting for the replies. It's working. So first we got one request timed out. So it's due to convergence, so we can uh, try again. I just press up arrow and we get the replies. Packets send for or received for. Why were the pings successful? Obviously here we can see uh, PC1, PC2, they are in the uh, same subnet and they configured uh, uh, you know, all the IP address perfectly. And we can see uh, PC1 and PC3, uh, they are connected to the same router R1, so they communicate each other. Uh, they configured uh, all the details perfectly and uh, they may not configure the success control list uh, in this uh, router. Or we can say they did not give any kind of restrictions uh, to ping from PC1 to PC2 or PC1 to PC3. Coming to step 2. Ping services on remote networks to test ACL functionality. From the command prompt of PC1, ping PC4. Here we can see we are going to ping from PC1 to this PC4. We will get the IP address of PC4. I will copy that. Then coming to PC1, we will go to command prompt. Ping to PC4. And we can see it says destination host unreachable. 
Then from the command prompt of PC1, ping the DNS server. We will get the IP address of DNS server. It's here. We will ping from this PC1 command prompt. And uh, it says the destination host unreachable. Why did the pings fail? Also given a hint. Use simulation mode or view the router configurations to investigate. So we will uh, investigate uh, using this uh, simulation mode or uh, we can investigate using show command. Uh, but before that, uh, there is no other uh, mistakes like, you know, they configured all the IP address and even they configured, you know, dynamic routing maybe using OISPF. And here we talk about ACL demonstration, right? So obviously, uh, this uh, ping uh, failed because uh, any one of these router uh, may be configured with uh, access control list that denies uh, this uh, ping packet. Just we will verify that. We will go to R1 and uh, we will uh, verify the routing table. Enable show IP route. And we can see they configured OSPF. Here we can see the networks 192.168.30.0 and 31.0. Here we can see those networks 30.0 and 31.0. It's in the routing table. Then why it's not uh, pinging from PC1 to these two networks 30.0 and 31.0. Uh, let me go to simulation mode and here we will uh, edit these filters we will click on show all none then we will click on edit filters uh, we will have only icmp then we will close this uh, simulation panel again we will uh, try to ping from pc1 to uh, either pc4 or a dns server we'll go to pc1 command prompt okay we'll press up arrow from the keyboard and uh, we can see it's a 31.12 that means we are pinging to dns server so here we can see our uh, icmp packet now we will click on capture or forward and we can see it goes to this uh, switch s1 okay again click on capture or forward uh, we can see it goes to this uh, router r1 and we can see this packet is uh, dropped in this uh, router r1 and we have seen we have this uh, route uh, to 192.168.31.0 in the routing table and but still this r1 uh, dropped this uh, uh, packet okay here we can see one more packet this is again uh, icmp let me click on this and uh, here we can see okay we'll click on this so it goes back it will go to pc1 and we will get the uh, first reply so we can see it says uh, you know destination host unreachable right so it should i should send uh, uh, you know um, four packets again we can click on capture uh, or forward we can see this icmp again will go to uh, switch and it will go to r1 and uh, they may configure this uh, acl access control list in this uh, router r1 so uh, we can see that packet is uh, not processed and r1 is uh, sending an acknowledgement back to this pc1 here we can see again we got one more destination host unreachable i think i cannot say uh, this icmp packet is uh, not processed in this router r1 uh, because it's processed and uh, uh, this R1 is uh, not allowed to uh, send this uh, packet, this ICMP packet uh, to its destination due to access control list. Uh, we will verify this access control list in this router R1 and it is coming in this uh, part 2. Uh, remove the ACL and uh, repeat the test. Okay, we will go step by step. Uh, just we will go to real time. Step 1. Use show commands to investigate the ACL configuration. Navigate to R1CLI. Uh, 
then use the show run and show access list commands to view the currently configured ACLs. To quickly view the current ACLs, use show access list. Enter the show access list command followed by a space and a question mark to view the available options. Show access list then put a question mark. We will go to this router R1. Show access list space put a question mark and here we can see we can specify ACL number or ACL name or we can uh, use this uh, pipeline uh, for output modifiers. If you know the ACL number or name, you can filter the show output further. However, R1 only has one ACL. Therefore, uh, the show access list command will suffice. So just we will give this uh, show access list and we will press enter. So here we can see that CR show access list that's enough and here we can see standard IP access list 11 and here we can see the access list created 10 deny and here we can see the network address it's a wildcard bits also permit any so we have seen uh, they denied this network 192.168.10.0 slash 24 correct okay that's fine the first line of the acl blocks any packets so that originate in the 192.168.10.0/24 network yes that's correct uh, which includes internet control message protocol that is icmp echoes then a ping request that is a icmp echoes means ping request the second line of the acl allows all other ip traffic from any source to uh, traverse the router but here we get a doubt from pc1 we are unable to ping to pc4 and dns server that's fine but we we ping from pc1 to pc3 uh, it succeeded right how here we have to identify to which interface uh, they implemented this access control list so if we able to ping from pc1 to pc3 but uh, we not able to ping from pc1 to uh, uh, to these uh, two networks then obviously they implemented to uh, this uh, uh, serial interface uh, that is uh, you know uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 anyways we will identify this for an ACL to impact a router operation it must be applied to an interface in a specific direction yes this is just uh, we talk about now in this scenario, the ACL is used to filter traffic exiting an interface. Therefore, all traffic leaving the specified interface of R1 will be inspected against ACL 11. We can confirm that uh, this uh, ACL is applied to this uh, interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 in the out direction, right? Although you can view IP information with the show IP interface command, it may be uh, more efficient in uh, some situations to simply use the show run command to obtain a complete list of interfaces that the ACL uh, that may be applied to and the list of all ACLs that are configured. Use the following command show running config and then we are going to filter uh, this uh, include interface uh, access. We will give this a show command in this router R1. Enable show run. Then this uh, line pipeline command include interface. Then again pipeline access. Let us try this. And here we can see the result. We can see interfaces g0 slash 0 g0 slash 1 and here we can see interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and uh, ip access group 11 out direction sure we will uh, give without a space here uh, we'll press up arrow and i will remove this uh, space here And here we can see the information access list 11 uh, deny this uh, network okay 
and the permit other networks and here we can see the same uh, output the second pipe symbol uh, create an or condition that matches interface or access it is important that no spaces are included in the or condition yes actually we given a space first uh, then we omitted that space that's correct use one or both of these commands to find information about the acl to which interface and in what direction is the acl applied so uh, we have seen it's um, applied to this interface serial uh, 0 slash 0 slash 0 in the out direction step 2 remove access list 11 from the configuration you can remove acls from the configuration by issuing the no access list then number of the acl command the no access list command when used without arguments deletes all acls configured on the router okay the no access list then uh, this uh, number of the acl if you specify the number of the acl uh, command removes only a specific acl removing an acl from a router does not remove the acl from the interface the command that applies the acl to the interface must be removed separately that's fine under the serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 interface remove access list 11 which was previously applied to the interface as an outgoing filter uh, we have to go to that interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we have to give this command no ip access group 11 out so we'll go to this router r1 and we will do this conf t we will go to that interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and here we will give that command no ip access group uh, we have to give 11 that is out In global configuration mode, remove the ACL by entering the following command. No access list, then number, that is 11. Okay, we can do that. We have to go to global configuration mode. Give the command exit. And here we will give no access list, that is 11. Let me put a question mark. And we have to specify uh, the number, that is 11. Finally, verify that PC1 can now ping the DNS server and PC4. Okay, uh, we will uh, ping from PC1 uh, to this PC4 as well as DNS server. Press up arrow. Okay, here we can see the IP address of our DNS server. We may get uh, one request timed out. Yeah, here we can see we get the replies. Once more, we'll try it. Now we will ping to PC4. Here we can see its address 192.168.30.12. We may get one request timed out. Okay, then it's working. Once more, we can try to ping to PC4. We get the replies. Okay, that's all in this activity. That is success control list demonstration. Now, dear friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions regarding this activity, please comment below or you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And if you like our video, give a thumb and share with all your friends. Stay tuned. We will meet again with the next video. Thank you.